Hey guys, today's video is going to be a non-swimming related Q&A with Anna. I did a Q&A with her about a year ago and I'll leave that linked up here, but I never specified what kind of a Q&A it was and of course all the questions were swimming related. So I thought for today's video, in celebration of 20,000 subscribers, and I also just hit 3 million views on my channel, oh my goodness. So we would have a really fun non-swimming related Q&A. Thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. I'm so so excited and I feel so blessed to have all of you guys watching my videos, especially 3 million views. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know a lot of you did ask swimming questions and I might answer a few of them, but I really want this to be kind of a different, more personal <laughs> Q&A. All right, so here we go. I've got my phone. I'm going to start with my Instagram post where I have 180 comments. Athletic Girl 401 says, do you do anything else when you're not in the pool swimming? And that's kind of a swimming related question, but not a swimming related Eat. question. So. <laughs> <Eat>. <laughs> Yes, eat, but also if you guys have been watching my Instagram stories the last few weeks, I've been posting videos of her playing golf. Sadly, I can't play golf anymore. I used to, but I did hurt my back, which I'll talk more about later. And if you guys watched my story, you saw her incredible dance moves at her championship banquet last night, so. <laughs> Swim Livia 12T says, What is your height? I'm five foot six inches and what are you? Five three. Sid X Prem says, Would you ever come to the Bahamas in all caps? Yes, I would yeah. absolutely love to. SX Nia SX says, Would you like to come to Thailand? I would love to meet you because I live here. And yes, of course, yeah. I want to travel definitely. Splash Swimmer 2004 says, Injuries? With a question mark. I've had so many injuries, it's insane. So some backstory, I'm actually extremely flexible and like my joints can pop out. I can pull my shoulders out of joint, like just pulling on my it's really arm. creepy. And yeah, my <laughs> uncle can actually do it too, my mom's brother. So I get that from him. And then also my mom is extremely flexible. So I get that from her and just the combination plus swimming and all the rotating and stuff just doesn't seem to work so well for my body. <laughs> and I can't even touch my toes. So <laughs> yeah, Anna's like my dad. She can't move. So she never gets injured. <laughs> anyway, so I've had so many injuries. I can't tell you all of them, but random shoulder pains where I have to kick practices for a few days or a pulled muscle because I, you know, overextended something. Um, and then the really big injury is that I actually fractured my back and I have a 45 degree curved scoliosis. So it, that doesn't mean it's 45 degrees this way. That means from straight, it's 45 degrees. On top of having the scoliosis, I also got a fracture in my L5. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have the same issues, but it definitely flares up sometimes. That's why I had to stop playing golf, just because the rotating and hitting the ball like aggravated the fracture. Just the combination of the two, I have to be really careful. Another pretty big injury is that since my shoulders pop out of joint a lot, I actually pulled, well not pulled, yanked my shoulder out of joint at dryland twice. You guys heard about this in my Wenatchee vlog a little bit. I couldn't do butterfly at that meet because I had just pulled it out and it was getting better. In January, I was doing a pull-up in dryland and I yanked my shoulder out of joint. I don't even know how it happened. I was pulling myself up and it literally just pulled out and I couldn't swim for like three weeks. I was kicking. I couldn't do any dryland moves. It was really great. But once it got better, I was careful. I started doing pull-ups again, but a lot slower. And my dryline coach would literally stare at me <laughs> while I did pull-ups, like making sure. And then in May, I did it again. I was getting way too comfortable with pull-ups again, and I was going too fast yet again. And it happened, and I freaked out. I mean, I like burst into tears in the middle of dryland because it happened again, and I was just so frustrated. <laughs> I have to be really careful <laughs> with my joints and flexibility and overextending, and that was a really long story. Yeah. Hopefully I cut that down enough so it's not rambly. Christina Sung asks, what is it like homeschooling and do you wish you have an experience going to public school? I actually really love homeschooling mostly because a lot of people think homeschoolers can be antisocial, but on top of having swim team and you know, there's a lot of people there and it's a nice team environment. I get to see them every day when I'm training. But yeah. also, it's like a different kind of social exposure because you're with adults all the time. So I actually really enjoy it because I feel like it prepares me, prepares us for like the real world better than being trapped in a school all day. Eden Rhodes 18 says, what grade are you in? And I know you guys are hoping I'll answer this so you know how old I am. But I actually don't really have a grade because 
with homeschooling, we just kind of do what fits for our level in each subject. So I'm kind of all over the place and I don't have a grade, but we both are advanced. So oh, I just made like a double chin for that. It's like we're advanced. <laughs> Christina Sung also asks, what is your favorite school subject and why? My favorite subject is history. Same. I'm not really sure why, <laughs> but I just find like things that happened in the past, especially ancient, ancient Rome, Greek, and Egyptian history are my absolute favorites. I love that. I love to go to those places someday and see the pyramids. That would like, that gives me chills thinking about it. What's your favorite time period? American. Personally, oh, I American? like American history. American's my least favorite period. I don't know. I like it. I don't like the more modern history. I don't know. It's just I cool feel... to see like all the advancements and the, the buildup of the country. It's just cool. Sarah Tower 22 says, what do you like about cats and do you like dogs? If, if so, why or why not? This is actually a really fun question. Um, I love cats because cats are very yeah. independent and I like that. I feel like especially with if I want to travel or even with swimming and being gone all day or being at swim meets all weekend, a dog is just a lot more to take care of and you'd have to bring him with you a lot. I do love dogs, but I would never have one. I love other people's dogs. Um, this is what we did to Meetsy. I'm going to disturb her. Sounds like her, it's like but... bad. Like, look what we did to her. <laughs> She does look like a cow. That's what I said the first time. We left her fluffy tail because she has a beautiful tail, but she's got like little fur booties and her head looks twice the size of her body. So far <laughs> she has liked it. She's been pretty happy. Okay. <laughs> Did you... <laughs> she just spilled on herself. Abby Kate 123 says, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And some of you guys might not guess this, but I am an introvert. I definitely like public speaking, but I'm just standing there on my own and I'm just speaking, you know? But like being at swim meets gives me a little bit of anxiety, like walking around the pool deck. It, I don't know if my mom knows this either, but walking around the pool deck with the, all those people around me, like I have to sit up in the stands. But I like to kind of go down there, race, talk to my coaches and my teammates, and then escape to like my spot in the stands. Yeah. I like being around people. I really like Anna likes people and talking and I dancing know. in public. So <laughs> extrovert. Abby Kate 123 also says ice cream or brownies. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yes. Fabian Zimmer says, what do you prefer, lake or sea? Neither, but if I had to choose, I would say sea because it's a lot cleaner. Lakes can get really murky just because they're like in like this one little area, you know, I think. I might be wrong. I don't know. But I don't like open water swimming at all. <laughs> I'm too salty about the sea. <laughs> Ashwini Batu. Don't know if I said that right. Do you prefer books or sports? Sports. Books. <laughs> If I could literally do absolutely nothing for the rest of my life, I would do nothing and read. Maria Lauren Ava says, what is your favorite book? Fun question. The Circle series by Ted Decker. It's so good. You guys have to read it. <laughs> if you guys do want to read it, the beginning of it is very slow. So don't start the book and be like, what is this? This is so bad. It kind of explodes like later in the book. So the beginning is slow. So get through the beginning and then it's really good. <laughs> but it does help set the story. So it's important. Maria Lauren Ava also says, do you and your sister get along? And no. we do get along guys, okay? <laughs> We're actually only a year and a half apart in age. So we get along pretty well because I have friends that are her age and she has friends that are my age. So it ends up being that we're like kind of in the same friend group age. So it actually works out pretty well. Melinda Cram says, how long do you spend making videos each week? I usually spend about two days. So I'll film one day, I'll start editing, and then the next day I'll finish editing. So it's usually about two days. My drill videos only take about a day. So a lot of times I'll film those on Friday mornings. I had a lot of people ask me where I want to go to college. And I haven't decided yet, but I want to go to California. So I want to go to California. <laughs> Dan Z O M G. Is it awkward being the only people that are homeschooled on your team with Anna? And no, it's not. Since we've grown up on the team, we definitely have friends and we're social with all of them. So it works out just fine because we've just grown up on the team with a lot of the people. And they all say the same question. Is your sister homeschooled too? Literally <laughs> everyone says that. Okay. It's a hair on your phone. Stop. It doesn't matter. It's not in my eye. M just 14 says, what is your favorite thing to do in your free time? Read. <laughs> Play Fortnite. Hey. I'm reading and she's killing people, so. <laughs> Yay! There's so many swimming questions. Oh, Guys, yeah. I told you no swimming questions. Charlotte Lloyd 1302, and I've actually seen her comment on my YouTube videos and my Instagram a lot, so I know you. She says, what do you want to do when you're older? And honestly, I have a lot of different ideas, but I definitely want to go to like a trade school. So I have two kind of opposite ideas right now. One, I really love fashion and hair and makeup. So I definitely want 
to do something in that world, but I also love video editing, so I mean, I could always combine those. All of that stuff I think is so cool, so a trade school is definitely somewhere I'm thinking of going. Oh yes, like her hair. I did her hair and her makeup today. Sierra Hartman says, would you consider to start doing vlogs? And I actually really have been considering that since January actually, but every time I'm getting ready to start doing it, there's just, I have a lot going on. I feel like I'd have to have a schedule and you know, what if I have a really boring week? Right now, no, but I'd really like to. Anastasia Demoshi, I think that's how you say it. She says, what's your full name? My Nanny name old is... beeswax. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Lindsay and that's all you're gonna know. <laughs> this is Anna. All right, I knew this question was coming. Emma Lidmonson says, why did you cut your hair? And I'm having a bad hair day right now, so um, I'll show you. Bad hair day, okay, just don't judge me. Appreciate the hat, it looks better than the actual hair. There's actually a story behind this and I've actually hidden the story from you guys for a while. So in February, I had been thinking about it for over a year and I loved it and I decided to shave half of my head. Some of you guys are probably like, oh my goodness, what? <laughs> I thought it looked so amazing, but my mom hated it and told me I had to grow it out, so she probably doesn't want me completely throwing her under the bus here, but I'm going to. I did it in my bathroom by myself. Yeah, she came downstairs into like and I a little office <laughs> and her hair was wet, so I'm like, wait, what? And she's like, look, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and she turned her head and I'm like, Oh gosh. She yeah, so a cat you, shaver. Like the one that we that we shave to explain. get knots out of our cats. I well, have I need but 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 I need to explain, okay? So we have an entire human hair grade razor set with all the attachments too for the different lengths, but we do use it without the attachments just to get knots out of our cats. Now I did clean it and I washed it and it's a human hair hair styling razor. So I put an attachment on it and I cleaned it and I used it to do that. So that's why I was able to do it myself because we have a whole set. On top of it, since I do love hair, as I mentioned, I watched a lot of hair YouTube videos and I'd studied it and how to do this and I just loved it and I did it. Okay, the reason I didn't show it on my channel is just just because I wasn't supposed to do it, you know, just being underage, I should have asked my mom. I didn't know if it was the right style to kind of inspire my more younger audience. The younger generation. So I'll show you guys pictures of it now because I thought it looked cool, but I didn't want it to be like, look at my hair, you guys should all do this. But it was fun while it lasted and I don't regret it, but that's why I cut it because I had to even it out. and. I wasn't scared to cut it like this. I was excited. Luciana Ledesma, that's a beautiful name. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Um, would you like to come to Argentina? And she says, by the way, I've watched your video since day one. Oh my goodness, that's, thank you. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, yes, again, I would love to travel Argentina too. I have a whole list. Mara Hudson 70 says, long hair versus short hair, pros and cons. Oh, I'm an expert in this question. It was literally like down here and now it's here. So my favorite hair length of mine was when it was around my chin, like at this length here that I've had this year. That is my favorite. I think that's what looked the best on me too. My hair is thinner than hers too, so when my hair is longer, it tends to look a little stringy. When I watch some of my old videos where my hair is down, I definitely think it doesn't look the best. And the chlorine doesn't help with that either, but I thought when it was chin length, it looked healthier, it looked a little bit thicker, and I think it just looked better on my face. And I liked it when it was at a length that I could still put in a small ponytail. When I couldn't get it in a ponytail, it was a little annoying. So I liked it, it was about just above my shoulders. I could get it in a ponytail. It still looked healthy. I really liked it like that. Oh. Yeah, it's funny because our hair has literally switched. I used to have the bob cut and the short hair mm -hmm. and she used to have the long hair. So now she has the shortest hair and I have the longest hair. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, at Teru Graham says, can Anna be in the video? So I don't know where I don't know where she is. Do, uh, She's not here. A Uter Graham also says, who are you BFFs? And I have posted about them before. I've had some photos, some videos with them if you guys have been on my Instagram, so you can find some photos of them. But I am gonna shout out my best friend in the entire world, who is Callie who I talk to almost every single day and she's been there for me for years and years through a lot of stuff and I love her so much and she has been so supportive for my channel. I do have some other really close friends too, of course, so if some of my other close friends are watching this, I love you too. Faith B203 also says, what's your favorite book? And I thought, I forgot to mention earlier, I do have some other books that I absolutely love, is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ede. I'll put her name on the screen, but she has two books in the series. It's The Wrath and the Dawn and then The Rose and the Dagger. The Wrath of the Dawn, man, and I feel that every morning. <laughs> One more. 
is called Rebel of the Sands. This one's by Alwyn Hamilton. And then the second one is Traitor to the Throne. And then there's a third one coming out. Elena Swim says, how did you get your YouTube started up and going? And I might have talked about this before. I don't know. But my YouTube channel actually was a homeschool project for science. <laughs> I know that seems weird, but the science was a social media technology video editing science section. So the channel wasn't really meant to be popular. It was more like learn how to make videos and edit and post, like post and a video or two. Yeah. And public yeah. speaking was also another thing. So that's what it started out as. But then the idea of my channel ended up being pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So it ended up getting more of an audience and I loved making the videos and talking and before I never did public speaking but through my channel I have found my love for public speaking and I actually love doing it so that's how it started out and then it just kept going. <laughs> One of my good friends Hannah, picky Hannah Dickies her username, <laughs> um, she says yeah we both know her really yeah. well. <laughs> Do you know your YouTube would be as it is now? And no, I didn't. This is gonna sound wrong coming out, but I did know that my idea was pretty cool because nobody else had a channel. You know, all the other swimming channels were like old masters men. So I thought mine was, you know, a regular swimmer like I swim and die every day and you swim and die every day. So relatable. You know, kind of the idea. Yeah, <laughs> relatable. So, you know, I thought it was a really cool idea, but um, I never thought the audience would be 20,000. <laughs> I just kept doing it because I loved making the videos, but then people are subscribing and I'm like, wow. Whoa. This is a swimming question, but I'm going to answer it. Allison Elizabeth says, what was the hardest challenge you've had as a swimmer and how did you overcome it? Um, so as I said before, the injuries are definitely the hardest challenge and I have not overcome them yet. They are constantly happening. Right now I am on summer break, just, you know, all year round swimmers get a little break. So, yeah. um, and I am enjoying that because I don't have anything hurting at the moment. Right. <laughs> it really helps to have a really supportive coach. My coach is amazing and I love him so much and also helps to have good supportive teammates with you. So. I have some really good best friends on the team and I love them a lot. Rat Cat Attack 28 <laughs> <laughs> says, what are your favorite shows and movies? By the way, I love you so much. I love you too. My okay. favorite TV show right now is Blacklist. It's so good. <laughs> My favorite show is a show that maybe some of you are watching or Stop have heard fidgeting. of. It's called My Hero Academia. It's an anime. It's really, really good. I know nothing about it. It's anime. amazing. Deku is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably gonna laugh at me, but my favorite movie hasn't changed in like the last uh, six, seven years maybe. And this movie does not go with my TV series choice, but my favorite movie that it's Brave from Disney. <laughs> In the beginning of the movie, it shows her going through the woods and like climbing cliffs and these waterfalls. And honestly, I'm not afraid of heights. I love heights. So she's just like so free. And I don't know. I just think it's so cool. My like favorite movie. movie, that one that tops all of them is Avatar. I just I have love everything about it. It's just so cool. Amber Kokor. She says, what's your favorite nail polish brand and color? Several of you actually asked about my nail polish. I actually have my own LED lamp. So I buy shellac gel polishes and top coats and base coats and all that and I make it here. I make it here, I don't make it. Um, but <laughs> I do my nails with my own lamp, so that way I don't have to go spend $40 for a shellac manicure. Here's what it looks like. Uh, there's just a power <laughs> button on the top and all the lights underneath light up and just put your hand under it. And I do shellac because it's the only nail polish that stays on in the water. Annalise Lobello says, do you like Taylor Swift? Yes. Yeah. I love her new album so much. It's so good. Anna Silvason. Anna! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she says, if you could describe yourself in one word, what would it be? And um, I weird. don't know if Anna would be weird. Insane. That Insane? Yeah. Um, what about me? Logical. <laughs> 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 like, she drives me crazy sometimes because she, she, like, doesn't pay attention and she won't think of things or, like, things that I think are, like, common sense. And I'll be like, Anna, what the heck? That's so obvious. So maybe logical is a good one. <laughs> I don't know. Jess M14 says, how do you keep your nails healthy when you're swimming? And honestly, my nails aren't that healthy just because of the shellac. Um, but the shellac actually acts as like a second really thick layer of nail. So that's why they don't break or anything because they're really thick. But definitely a few months, I do have to take like a break from it and let my nails like regrow and stuff because they get thinner every time you redo it. Zion PL says, I've been homeschooled my whole life. How long have you been homeschooled? Whole life. Our whole life, <laughs> yeah. Love to dance. 026 says, what country do you live in? The United States. American. 
Paige Maloney says, are you gay? <laughs> no. No, I'm not. No. Not at all. And as I explained before, the hair had to even out the side shave, so. Yeah. <laughs> not gay. So yes, I definitely like guys. Yeah, me too. Megan LXM says, what state do you live in? We are in Washington State. Yep. Not Washington, D.C. I've told people I'm in Washington State and they still ask if I'm on the East Coast. No. no. West Coast, Pacific Northwest, top left corner Washington. of the United States. Sweet Pea 1271 says, if you're still homeschooled, what curriculum do you use? Are you independent or with a charter school? I don't use a specific like curriculum from a brand. I'm pretty independent in the work that I do. We use different yeah. curriculums for each subject based on like the level and the curriculum itself and like what fits our it's learning styles kind of like too. all over the place yeah because each curriculum has a different way of teaching too so like whichever one we just like best for really? each subject a lot of people actually are asking me like who i look up to the most or who's inspires me the most and that's just a really hard question actually like i don't know how to answer that i think the first thing that pops in my mind actually is that i'm a very strong christian so i think jesus and god inspires me a lot i always think of bible scriptures for inspiration and everything one of my favorites um actually my baptism verse is romans 8 28 and then also one that i really like nowadays is matthew 11 1 through 2. it's do not judge for you will be judged i'll put it up on the screen i just love that one a lot too i just like thinking that because you know when you're out and about you see a lot of different people and I just love the way Jesus loves everyone, and I find him really inspiring in a very true way. Cassidy MC, I know Inspires. you. I know you, Cassidy. I've met you. What is your favorite video posted on your channel? I think my JoLynn vlog. <laughs> my JoLynn oh, store yeah, vlog. Oh yeah, I like that one too, actually. And also my Wenatchee vlogs. Like, my vlogs are some of my favorites. Ali Schreffler says, do you know how to do a handstand? And if you do, show it. No. <laughs> <laughs> if I do a handstand, I will fall and break something, so... No. So Annie Penny Swim says, had your sister wanted to start a channel or is this idea canceled? And she was going to start one, but we couldn't get the right idea. And yeah. then also with me making videos once a week, it was just a lot of filming and getting videos sweet, planned sweet that, yeah. yeah, having her start a channel too was just a lot. I might but, join in a few more. Start yeah, I'm trying to get more. her in more of my videos. Yeah. Gemma Pod says, what do you edit slash film with? So I film with a Canon Rebel EOS Digital T5i and I edit with Adobe Premiere Elements. Adobe Premiere itself is really expensive, $500 or something around there, but Premiere Elements is only $100. So I invested in that as my channel got a little bit bigger. Lena Kimura says, have you ever played a musical instrument, one instrument? When I was younger, my grandma tried to teach me how to play the piano because I didn't play any instruments. And Anne and I are actually in a choir for our church. We so, grew up in the choir, so she wanted to teach me the piano. And I tried learning it for about a year, actually. And I just didn't get it. Musical instruments and me just don't... I don't know any either. I don't know. It was voice weird. counts as an instrument? Yes, your voice counts as an instrument. Yay! We <laughs> sing in a choir. <laughs> yeah. Alley Girl Diver says, Have you ever struggled with being in your head too much? Like, everything you do is not good enough. Like, you're not improving or anything. Yes, actually, I have. And I think regarding to swimming... And it's a lot of talking to your coach, of course, but once you're behind the block, something I had to work on for a while, but I eventually got good at, got used to, was telling myself that behind the blocks, I can't change any of the training that I did before. I, stressing out isn't going to do anything for the race because I'm going to get in there and swim with whatever training I have behind me, no matter what is going on in my head. The stress so, is going to slow you down during your race. Yeah, and I know I'm making it sound like such a simple thing, but really it took me months and months of working on that at every meet that definitely it's more of like building a confidence so that you're behind the block and you're like you know what i trained and i'm ready lil r33 says how do you do a swimmer bun and i realize now that anna has hair and i might do a swimmer <laughs> bun tutorial maybe yeah, I'm not bald. so i might do a swimmer <laughs> bun eat sleep swimmer says how do you cope with bad mental days i think one thing i do talk to my coach if it's you know you're at practice and you're having a bad mental day um and then another thing is i pray so that helps a lot. Hey, it's Scarlet asks, what kind of music are you into? And I also have another question on here of what my favorite bands are. So I'm going to do like both of those questions here in the same. So I've got yeah. my Spotify here. I'm going to pull up mine actually. And Anna's, Anna listens to K-pop. Yeah, I got BTS Army. 
If there's any I, armies, please t- comment down below. It makes if you're my an head army. explode. Can't listen no. to that. No. Imagine Dragons, Seven Lions, and Elenium are like my yeah. three favorite bands ever. So Again, I don't just like K pop. I like those songs too, actually. I like a lot of her songs. I have Demons by Imagine Dragons, Hurricane by Halsey, The Artie Remix, and Ocean by Seven Lions, Slow Dive by Seven Lions, In Flames by Dabin, Monophobia by Deadmau5, which is super cool. I like them. And then The Last of the Real Ones by Fall Out Boy. They're mm-hmm. really cool too. My favorite BTS song is Dope, because it's dope. And also, my bias is J-Hope, so... Emily Louise also says, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? And that is cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream. But also mint chip, so those two are good. Uh, cookies and cream. Or vanilla. Sadie Prattfilker says, how do you take care of your cats when you're on trips? Um, oh, she says, mine stayed with my grandma and ran away, but we found her now. Oh, that's Aww. scary. That's so scary. Um, so we actually, my aunt and uncle live about 10 minutes from here. So we leave our cats here at our house and then they just come over twice a day to feed them and hang out with them. So they always stay here. I've had two or three people ask what my favorite clothing store is. And I shop online a lot. For athletic clothes, I like Fabletics, Lululemon, Funkita a lot and Calvin Klein. And that is it for my Instagram questions. Let's go to YouTube. What is your top? Dink means says, is water wet? No. It's no, not. it's not. If this towel is wet, it can probably be dried. Water cannot be dried. Rose Gold 12 says, why don't you do a cat related video like reviewing stuff? <laughs> that was actually an idea we had for Anna's channel was that she would do cats and like reviewing and- <gasps> Oh, she just went like this. Okay. Ooh. That was actually an idea we had for her channel, um, but then it never got started. But that yeah. would be kind of fun. But again, one channel is enough right now. So yeah. we're going to stay with one channel. Rebecca C. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. I say yes because it's meat between two pieces of bread. So I say yes. Hmm. What sort of dryland and gym training do you do? So um, when I do dryland training, I do hit high intensity interval training. It's usually 45 seconds on and then 10 or 15 seconds rest. And then you do multiple stations of different exercises and then multiple rounds of that for like an hour. And there's weightlifting within that. It's really similar to boot camp classes. I've taken a boot camp at my local Y and it's very similar to that. Rebecca C says, what is the crazy thing your teacher has ever done? My teacher is like partially myself, but also my mom. So uh, my mom does a lot of weird things on a daily basis. So. I don't know. Anna N says, what is the best type of cheese? <laughs> goat cheese. Mm. I eat goat cheese with a spoon. It's so good. I share it with the cats. Like we have our own little meal on the floor. It's really fun. I like Havarti cheese too. Lauren F says, what is your favorite clothes brand and what are your favorite shoes? So for shoes, I actually really hate summertime because I have to wear sandals and flip flops because my favorite shoes are boots. I have a pair of combat boots that I wear a lot. And then I got the Nike Air Force One boots that I love so freaking much. And they are expensive. So before you guys, you know, make an assumption, I actually saved up for months for those because I love them so much. And I bought them myself with saved up money and I wear them every single day. I actually wore them into the summer before like my parents started yelling at me. Like I try to leave the house in them and they're like, it's 80 degrees. Why are you wearing them? Like I love them. <laughs> so I'm really happy that summer's almost over and I can finally wear my boots again. Janice Berry says, would you rather fall into a pit of hungry lions where you will die or a pit with one lonely spider that will torture you forever. <laughs> oh gosh. I take the lions. Pit of lions. I, t- yep. I take the lions because it's possible that I, could, that I could tame the lions. Ooh, Catherine Chang, how are you today? Really good, excited to make this video. But Want she food. says, if you found a time machine, when and where would you go to? Oh, I love this question so much. Now I know that I love ancient history, but people die a lot during those times yeah. and I don't want to go <laughs> there. Like the- My favorite actually is like the Victorian era. If I were to go to a certain era, the Victorian era with all their dresses and the parties. And I just find that all just so like romantic and I just love it so much. Is, is this a good answer? I want to go to the future just to see where te- technology <laughs> was, see if they have virtual Why is that not surprising? like see if they have like cool virtual reality stuff we just <laughs> finished watching ready player one that was um, so good definitely okay it doesn't i'm top not going to explain what it's about because it takes a while but it was so it good. doesn't top avatar but def- definitely my current favorite noor's lifestyle says would you rather leave swimming and stay on youtube or leave youtube and keep swimming i would actually leave swimming and keep doing youtube because i feel like even if i do leave swimming the knowledge on swimming to share with you guys even if I'm not swimming. So I would definitely want to stay here on YouTube and share things with you guys and interact with you guys. 
Uh, Rebecca C says, what is something you think people look weird doing? <laughs> Honestly, driving. People drive so weird. Like, the way people sit in their cars, you drive by them and you're like, no, what are they no. doing? I would be the weirdo <laughs> that has my music turned all the way up and is literally like at stoplights like, yeah. Anna drives so freaking close to the steering wheel, I don't understand it. She's literally like this close to it and she's going... There is one comment on here that's not a question, but I thought it was so cute. It's from Corwinda Presidenta. <laughs> and they say that since Anna's going to be in your productions, Poland Fan Club is returning to your channel. She is the best. Thank you. <laughs> that is it for the Q&A. We got through all the questions. Yay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so incredibly much for 20,000 subscribers and 3 million views. That is just amazing to me, and I'm so excited to have all of you in my Swim Life Guru squad. Yeah. I'm just so thankful for you guys. <laughs> and like... Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you want to see another Q&A video when I hit another milestone later. Also, subscribe if you haven't already to see more videos. Bye! Bye. And we're rolling. Mitzi! Mitzi, what is this? <laughs> Your bed is like sinking. I feel like I'm going into quicksand. Okay. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what just happened? Are you burping? <laughs> She's sitting here burping. I'm such a lady. It's going to be a Q&A that is non-swimming related with Anna. So we're both going to be answering the question. <laughs> Why? That'd be my dad opening and closing the garage. Bye. Bye. <laughs> he just waved. <laughs> She's trying to eat the cat that's under my butt. This video is a first impression. What? <laughs> I was literally going. Okay. Bahamas. I have an itch on my nose. It's like insect being nosy. <laughs> She's not picking her nose, guys. And I'll just you. itch it. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you had a. a blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Dan Zoma. Zan. Dan. <laughs> Wait. I can't speak. Dan Z O M G. OMG cholesterol! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, cholesterol! Stop! <laughs> One time we were on our way to Chipotle and we needed to get gas because we were out of gas, but we just made it to Chipotle and we were good. You can't. Okay. Screenshots of all the. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.